Hey, what's up, guys? It's a beautiful Friday, and uh, today I think we're gonna make a pond. <sighs> grab a shovel right here. Let's grab two of them. <sighs> Go over and Take a look at the little tiny baby goats. <laughs> All right, let's go make a pond. Say hi, little dude. All right, so this is where we're gonna make it today. This is the pond I made, I don't know, four years ago now. Just very small, this little garden here. So we're gonna make it bigger, better. And I'm gonna start by just uh, going around. So I kind of arranged the rocks around where I think I want the pond to be. The original pond is going to about triple the size. I think it'll be nice. Kind of open up all this area over here. Put a bench over there or something. But something I noticed when I was working is I pissed off Mama Chickadee. He's hanging out in that tree right there. So I'm going to walk away for a second and see if she'll go back in her house. And I'm going to go get my bird because he's making some noise. So I just finished digging this up here, and I'll bring you over here to show you the uh, kind of the shape. And all the dirt in there is going to be used to kind of weigh down the edges. And that's my liner. What I'm using, this is the underside of it, so it's all white and shiny and bright. I don't want that showing. So we're gonna use black side, but this is a good way to get the scale. It's called Moist Stop. It's house wrap, but works super well. So where the old waterfall was, I'm not gonna put it back up there. Might put it over here, but just see how this goes. <laughs>
it now. This might not be the final fill, but what this is for is to uh, kind of pull the uh, the liner tight, like flush with that hole that I made. Little, all the water will weigh down in the center and pull it all down. So once that's done, we'll be able to go back around and uh, I'll probably end up building like a rock wall around this and then I'll, uh, I'll start working on the waterfall which I think is going to be back here. So the way I'll do that is I'll have some form of three-sided waterproof wet reservoir sitting right here with the open side facing in and uh, it'll have a lip on it so it'll probably be like a, a rectangular bucket with with part of it cut down kind of like this um, and then I'm gonna bury that in put a, a pump down here in this pond probably in this lower section underneath the bucket with a bunch of holes in it um, and that'll feed up into this bucket up here and the cascade will create a nice little you know sound effect So I think that's going to wrap up the first part of my little DIY pond build. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good day.